Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you've tuned in to this channel all over the world. You're welcome to Verdict TV, Breaking News, Tinumbu Administration Prioritizes Education for Girls, says Shetima. Do welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details, carefully listening to the hand. The Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, said that President Bola Tinobu remains fully committed to issues of girl-child education and gender empowerment and will promote same in the polit- policies and programs of the federal government under his watch. On Wednesday, the Vice President mentioned this in a statement when he received on a courtesy visit to the presidential villa a delegation from the United Nations led by the UN Deputy Secretary General and share of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal Group, Mrs. Amina Mohammed. She was accompanied on the visit by the co-founder of Malala Fund, Ms. Malala Yusafa, and other officials. Shetima re-emphasized President Tinobu's commitment to issue education Pardon, to issues of education and empowerment of women, noting that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is fully and unequivocally committed to the girl-child education and gender empowerment initiative. The SDG's goals 4 and 5 will be vigorously pursued by the present administration. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a passionate and committed advocate of girl child education. He believes in the empowerment of our women. He believes that the prosperity he believes that the prosperity, the respect of every society is directly proportional to the way they treat their women folk, he said. The Vice President then commended the Union, the UNDSG, that is the United Nations led by the UN Deputy Secretary General and the co founder of Malala Fund for their efforts in promoting girl child education, among other initiatives. Amina Mohammed stands today as a symbol of hope. For the African woman, woman for her resilience, commitment, and disposition, and most importantly, in her integrity. She is an oasis of hope in an unending ocean of poverty and disparity. While Malala, as an icon of hope and change in a despairing world, Senator Shetima noted. He assured the Malala Fund of the Federal Government's partnership with the Organization for the Greater Good of Nigeria. In separate remarks, the UNDSG, Amina Mohamed, and co-founder of Malala Fund, Malala Yousafzai, commented the Federal Government for their efforts in promoting goals 4 and 5 of the Sustainable Development Goals, observing progress in the area of gender equity and education of girls across the country. Shetima has revealed what his master is up to do. That his master, that Tsunumbu, is going to prioritize education for girls or like when those days that they say girl education is not necessary that they are going to end up in the kitchen and all that and most most girls are actually not found in school 
so now he wants to promote this gender empowerment he wants to fully tackle issues of girl child education and gender empowerment to make sure that all girls attend and have an education pardon so the vice president actually mentioned this in a statement when he received a courtesy visit to the presidential villa and there are some people who have actually supported president tinumbu to achieve those goals of girl child education we have malala who is the founder of malala fund and also we have mrs amina muhammad those people have come hand in hand to support the president and we're happy that the president can look into this and also promote goals four and five of the sustainable development goals sdg and once this is being started they are going to look into the progress in the area of gender equity and education of girls across the country we have come to the end of the news dear listeners what's your view to this news please share your view in the comment section thank you